Hello everyone, my name is Tabby. Welcome back or welcome to my channel, Keeping Tabs. Today, I am trying something new, something I've always wanted to try because I love watching these kinds of videos, and that is a journal with me video. And the theme is my June TBR because most of the books that I plan on reading in June I, do, I don't own, so I wouldn't have been able to like hold the books up and talk about them in a traditional style TBR. So I thought I would do this instead. Um, I do have a theme, and it is Dark Academia, and I am really excited about it. I don't think I've read any Dark Academia books. I think on Goodreads, The Raven Cycle is categorized under Dark Academia, but I don't know if that's really- Ooh! Oh my gosh, there's a- There was a bug, but it's outside. Sorry. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, the raven cycle. I don't- I, I, I think that's Dark Academia, but I think it's more magical realism, so I've never actually read something that's truly 100% Dark Academia, and I've been seeing a lot of the aesthetics and book recommendations on YouTube and Instagram and just everywhere, so I've been inspired. And yeah, I'm very excited to get into my June reading list. I don't really have like a solid definition for what dark academia means. I have my own idea, some like what I um, picture it to mean if that makes any sense. I just see Dark Academia being like a story that takes place in an educational setting, like a school or a university boarding school, even like a library, something where education and learning and books are like really emphasized in the story. And then the dark part, of course, the books was like the academia part. The, the dark part means the story itself has a dark theme, which I love. I love dark content, so sign me up. So I picked a bunch of books that I have seen people talk about, and I'm really excited about it. Also, the book that you saw me rip up, yes, that is my rip up book. It's like a random book that my friend gave me but it's book three in a series I've never heard of by an author I've never heard of. And yeah, I'll never read the first two, that's for sure. So I just keep it for my journaling purposes or sometimes I do blackout poetry. And the pages are like really old and yellowy, so it looks great. You can't really see it on, the f on camera, but I really like the texture and color of the, the book and the book pages, it's perfect. I guess I can talk about some of the books that I have that I plan on reading. Um, it's not in any particular order. I did start reading Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I'm really, really excited about that because I've loved Six of Crows, Duology, and the Shadow and Bone series by her. So I'm really excited to read something that's not part of the Grishaverse that she wrote. It takes place at Yale University and it has like supernatural elements to it that I was not expecting, even though I knew, listening to other reviews, that there were those elements in there, I was still like, oh, ghosts, I wasn't expecting that. I'm only on chapter one, so there's not much spoilers, but I've also heard that it's pretty, um, like there's a lot of trigger warnings. I'm not sure what the trigger warnings are for because I don't really search up trigger warnings or like look into them, but there are trigger warnings for that book just putting that out there for anybody who does like knowing about those, maybe look into those specific trigger warnings before reading the book. 
I haven't read it yet, so I couldn't tell you, but they're there. I also have on my list Vicious by V.E. Schwab, which I did start reading a few months ago, and my library hold, um, like, the borrow time ran out, so I was, like, a few chapters away from finishing. So this is gonna be, like, um, not a full read, but just finishing up the book. It does take place... It goes back and forth between the past and the present, and the past takes place in, like, a university setting. So I think that is where the dark academia comes from, and I really, really liked those dark vibes, so I cannot wait to finish Vicious. And this says June required reading, by the way. Instead of doing like a June TBR, I did required reading to fit like the school theme. Another book that I'm really excited about reading is These Violent Delights. the author is. I am so good at this. Wow. Just wow. One second. The author is Micah Nemerever. So these violent delights by Micah Nemerever, and I've heard that there is a very codependent friendship in that book, and I recently read, um, If We- no, not If We Were Villains. The Wicker King. I recently read The Wicker King by N.A. or K.A. Ancrum. Sorry, I am just all over the place, okay? I apologize. I recently read that, and there was a codependent friendship in there. Really, really codependent. And it was very interesting to watch that whole thing unravel, so I am looking forward to seeing that in these violent delights. I don't know anything else about the plot, I just know that there is that type of friendship in there. I also have on my list my Dark Vanessa. That one is by Kate Elizabeth Russell, and I've heard that this one is very similar to the classic book Lolita. I think it's a classic, I just know that it's like a lot of people had to read it in school, and it's about a guy who falls in love with a much younger girl, like illegally younger. My Dark Vanessa is similar to that story. I've never read Lolita, but I've heard it's pretty icky, but also kind of sad. And I'm really looking forward to reading My Dark Vanessa. It's a more modern version of that tale, so I've heard. I also have The Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. I know absolutely nothing about that one. I like to go into books mostly blind. I just... I like looked up books that are dark academia themed and I put them on my TBR and that's that's how I came up with this list. <laughs> no real planning went into this TBR. I just knew what I wanted like the theme to be and I threw some books onto that list and that's that's how we got here. I also have Bunny by Mona Awad or Awad. I heard that this is kind of funny, but also pretty dark and like ridiculous, so I'm looking forward to that one as well. I'm pretty much looking forward to all of these because they're all pretty dark and I really, really love dark themes. So I also have um, If We Were Villains and The Secret History. The Secret History is a chunker. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to that one. I'm going to put that one at the bottom of my list but I still want to read it. I've heard that If We Were Villains is like a easier version of The Secret History, like easier to read and digest. Anyways, that is my TBR. This is the overview of how the spread turned out. I really, really like it. I wish I would have added the author's names into this, but it's okay. I know what I mean. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!